What's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 11. Today I'm going to show you how to make a kick, snare, and hi-hat with Retrolog. I know that synths don't really sound like sampled instruments, but they have their own cool and unique sound. And I think learning how to make percussive sounds with a synthesizer is a good exercise in sort of learning what filters do, what your um, noise section does, and sort of how to craft sounds that aren't melodic with a subtractive synthesizer like Retrolog. So let's get into the project and start making some sounds. Okay, the first sound we're going to make is a kick drum. And if we open it up, it's on its initial patch, and I'll just play it once because it is pretty loud and obnoxious. So um, that's what it sounds like when you open up Retrolog. If you want to make your own kick drum sounds, the secret sauce is always in the sustain levels and often the noise section of Retrolog. So I want to uh, put this back to a sine wave, and I want to drop back two octaves. So that's here and here. I want to add a second oscillator that's also a sine wave. You can also make this a saw wave here, but I'll make it a sine wave and draw that back one octave. And then I'll turn on my noise, and I think pink noise works really well with uh, kick drum sounds, but white noise would also work. So this is what we're working with now. Okay, so what's the problem with that? There's too much sustain. So here on the amp section of Retrolog, we'll pull this down to all but zero. And I'll just uh, monitor here on my right-hand side. So I'm not getting what I want out of the uh, sounds. Do I need a little more sustain? Let's listen. Then we get the noise sustaining. So what if I raise my decay and resonance and keep my resonance and keep my sustain down? That sounds good. Now that snare sound from the noise is a little too loud, so we can pull down the volume. Okay. And now we can start messing with our filter. And our resonance. And I think clip distortion works well for a kick drum. Less noise. And we'll call that okay. Let's add some effects. Um, I think just a little bit of reverb might do it well. Main time down, lower the room size. Okay, that sounds like a decent kick. Let's move on to the snare. And a snare we can do actually without any oscillators. We can do it just with um, like a white bandpass filter, I think. You can see how that could become a snare. So what we'll want to switch, I think we'll switch to a high pass filter. Um, maybe something like this. We'll need to bring down sustain. Okay, and now we can go into our FX section. Um, if we add a little bit of equalization, uh, I like a beefiness around 2K with snare, so we'll do that. And then of course we'll add a little reverb. Lower the room size. Lower the time. Raise the room size. Okay, let's listen to what we have. Okay, what can we do? I think that's fine for now. Um, and then finally, we'll work on the hats. I think this is the most complicated one. So now we'll work on the hi-hat. Um, I think one thing we want to do with this is switch our wave type to cross here. We can make this a square wave. And we want the phase to be fixed at zero. We'll add another wave um, oscillator. That's a s s saw wave, also fixed at zero. Um, we'll bounce this one up. We'll keep this one here. We want to change the shape, so. We want a little bit more high pitch. This will uh, work for us well. We'll have white noise. 
And trust me, this will eventually sound like a hi-hat. We'll go to high pass 12 and we'll uh, cut out some of those high frequencies. You can see how that's starting to sound a bit like um, perhaps a hi-hat. Um, we'll keep this about the same. What we'll do here is we'll increase velocity and we'll lower sustain again. But we need more decay. Starting to sound a little bit like a hi-hat. Now we can get into the effects section where we'll need a little bit of resonance, uh, high pass resonance, and we wanna just have these be mega gained. Um, low can be around 300. You can already see there's more resonance. Um, and we wanna boost the resonance here. Uh, cutoff can be around, I don't know, 1500 here. And we wanna really boost the resonance, but not so that it's feeding back like that. Cool. And then finally, we'll do a very high one, 7,000 or so, and boost that resonance. I'll have to lower the gain or something. There we go. We have a decent amount of resonance. Uh, for our mod, I think we do want some mod effects. We want a flanger. That always helps it sound metallic. Let's uh, dial back the face. Okay, I think that's good, but I think we need to have this sustain be all the way low. Cool. And then finally, I think we need just a little bit of reverb to match everything else. Less mix. Less main time. Okay, now we have our drum set. So let's play in a quick beat. I'll uh, set this to 116 so I don't screw it up. And uh, let's play the kick drum. Okay, uh, let's try the snare. And finally, for the hi-hats, I want to add a uh, insert, which is our Apache SX, and I want to use that to get those triplets. And I'll try to play it right, but we can go back in and fix it if I don't get it quite right. So let's give it a shot. Um, let's switch this to 16 triplets, since that's what I'll be playing. We'll have the auto quantize on, and let's give it a shot. And all that's left to do is maybe to add a little bass line. So let's give that a shot right now. Mm -hmm. 
So I think, and with that, I think we have a little bit of a track. Uh, this has been a quick tutorial on how to create drums and Retrolog. A lot of it is lowering the sustain on your amplifier envelope, but also using white noise creatively and adding a few effects. And before you know it, you can have workable percussive sounds in a synthesizer that you've created yourself. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.